Hi guys, my name is Christina and welcome back to another reading journal video. For this video, we're going to be doing the reading journal spreads for the month of June and I'm really, really, really excited for this one. We're going with a Powerpuff Girls theme and I also have a list of books that I plan to read in the month of June. So we shall see if I can even get to them because things have been crazy at home. It's been really hard for me to finish books, but I will say I did finish uh, A Court of Silver Flames yesterday and wow, that book, five out of five stars. It was amazing and I can't wait to read more Sarah J Mass books. Anyway, back to the Powerpuff Girls. So I decided to go with the Powerpuff Girls theme for the month of June because it's my husband's birthday month and we're both really into superheroes and I wanted something cute and nostalgic and Powerpuff Girls was the way to go. I did print out a bunch of images instead of drawing them out because I haven't had any time to draw. Like, even like recording this video, I had to do it at 5 in the morning when my baby was asleep because I really don't have any time during the day to record videos. So, yes, that happened. <laughs> so I decided to go with a very simple spread. So I have a little picture of Bubbles, Buttercup, and Blossom. I wrote, I drew out the board June and I created this little calendar which I will color in or put down dots to represent the days I have read during the month of June. And I'm still trying to incorporate all these bookish stickers that I have because I have so so many and I want to incorporate them in my reading journal because you know books. And then I spent the rest of that morning cutting out all of the pictures. I wanted to do a page to represent bubbles, buttercup, and blossom, so each one gets their own page. This took quite some time. I did not know that cutting up stickers, well, not stickers, cutting up <laughs> images would take so long, and it took quite some time. And then while I was cutting it, I was thinking, oh, I should have been listening to like an audiobook or something, because it took me like 20 minutes to cut. I could have listen to an audiobook but I didn't. So for the next page I did my TBR and I plan on reading six books in the month of June. I don't know if I'll get to it but we shall see. And the first book I want to read is Little Women. Actually no, the first book I put down is Verity by Colleen Hoover. I'm, I'm not a big Colleen Hoover fan. I just don't really like her writing. And I think she's overhyped. That's just my personal opinion. But I did hear that Verity is a thriller, a mystery book. And I love mysteries and thrillers. And I kind of want to pick it up. But I doubt I'll be able to read it in the month of June. Mostly because according to my Libby app, it will take me eight weeks to get that book. And I'm, I'm just like, what the hell? That's ridiculous. But there's apparently like 46 people ahead of me to borrow this audiobook. So... I guess I'll wait. Maybe I'll get to it in June, maybe at the end of June, or I'll get to it in July. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Next, I have this kids edition of Little Women. I've never read the book. I don't, I've never seen the movies, so I don't really know much about it, but I thought I'd give it a go. So I thought I'd read the little kids edition and then watch the movie. Next, I have Cursed Bunny. I really want to read this one and that book has a bunch of short stories and I thought, you know, it should be a quick and easy read and I might just read like two stories a week or something. So hopefully I can get to that and I plan on annotating that book. So let me know if you guys want to see an annotation video. Next, I have The Raven Boys by Maggie Stafire. And this is a series I got for Christmas a couple years ago and I really want to read it, but I don't know if I'd like it. The only reason why I'm kind of like iffy about it is because it's a YA and it takes place in high school. And recently I've been DNFing those books like crazy. So I don't know, I guess we'll see. And if I don't like it, I could always just, you know, sell the series since they are in brand new condition, but we shall see. And then I also want to read the second book in the Raven Boy series, which is the, the Dream Thieves. So I hope I can get to that one as well, right? I want to say this is a very ambitious t TBR, but it's pretty ambitious for me. <laughs> Lastly, I wanted to read The Duke and I. This is the first book in the Bridgerton series. My best friend and I are doing a book pen pal swap. So with this, we are both reading the same book 
annotating them and then swapping them. So I get to keep her annotated edition and she keeps my annotated edition. So it's kind of something we wanted to do so we can each see our thoughts within the same book we've read and I thought it was really really cute and I'm really really excited to get started on this annotation pen pal swap that we're doing. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Next for bubbles, I decided to give bubbles the physical and audio page spread and this is where I just keep track of what days I read the physical book, a physical book, and what days I listen to an audio book. And while I was editing this video, I realized I forgot to add the word audio, so I did run back and add that to my journal. But you don't see it on here because I was done recording by then. But I don't know how I missed it for some reason. But I love this color blue. This color blue washi is so pretty. It's like the perfect baby blue, the perfect sky blue, and I think it's my favorite color blue, I think. Next, I add a little quote that says, I'll show them, I'll prove that I can be hardcore. And I have no idea who says that in the show. All I did was Google a bunch of Powerpuff Girl quotes and one of, and this quote came up. So, yeah. <laughs> when I watched the Powerpuff Girls, and honestly, Mojo Jojo was my favorite character over the Powerpuff Girls. And if I had to pick a Powerpuff Girl back then, my favorite was um, Blossom. But I think now I'm leaning towards Bubbles. I never really liked Buttercup. I just thought she was very annoying and that she had anger issues that she had to work out. But I think that was, that was like the point. For Blossom's page, I decided to track my main channel and my journaling channel subscriber count. I love tracking things like this. So this is what I decided to do. I started out with circles, but then the circles kind of looked weird. They looked really out of shape. So I decided to do a line graph and I love the way line graphs look like when they're done. It's just so pretty seeing everything go like up and down. And so that's what it, I decided to stick with for this spread. The very next page for Buttercup, I decided to do a brain dump page. It's been a really long time since I've included a brain dump page in my reading journals. And this is a page I used to include every single month last year. And I did end up using that page more often. And I like brain dump pages because I use them to write down ideas, video ideas. And even when my friends or family members recommend a book, a TV show or a movie, this is usually where I write it down. And then at the end of the month, I go back to it and I see like, oh, this person recommended this. I should probably watch it or read it. And it's really nice. I really like brain dump pages. So it's something I would like to continue incorporating for the next few months. But we'll see how much I use it in June just because things have been kind of crazy and I've barely picked up my reading journal. But I do want to use it more often. And then the very last page, I always include my favorite book of the month by using the little library kit that I have and sticking it on there. I've been doing this every single month and so far I love it. And I'm gonna continue doing this page. And at the end of the year, I do want to see what is my ultimate favorite book of the year. I wanna do like a whole page for just that. So we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned for that. So I really hope you guys like this Powerpuff Girls theme spread. If so, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next week with another video. Bye!